Okay. So, apologies for my brother playing music in the background. I don't have the heart to go up and tell him to stop. And I also am just too excited for this and just want to do this. So, I officially bit the bullet and decided to subscribe to Book of the Month. Yes, I fell into that um, hype very, very... Okay, I was going to say very quickly, but actually I've heard about it for like a couple of years and I haven't done it. So the fact that I've held out this long is pretty impressive. So I got three books for my first box and we're going to unbox it with you and show, you, show it off. I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to have this video be part of my vlog for July or if I'm going to have it be a separate video. I guess by the time you're watching it you'll know what I decided, but I yeah, will end up seeing. So here is the nice inside. You can already see which book I chose specifically for this month. Um, we've got this nice little book of the month thing, just advertising everything that goes along with the subscription. And like I said, I got three books. So first of all, for July's pick, I ended up pick going with Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. Unfortunately, it looks like it was damaged in transit, which is disappointing, but you know, it happens to the best of us. So I, it doesn't usually bother me quite as much as maybe some other books or some other people if a book gets damaged in transit. So I'm good with that. This follows um oh <laughs> gosh I just can't contain my excitement apparently so immortal longings this follows to a man and a woman I believe it's basically a retelling of Anthony and Cleopatra the Shakespeare play and I believe that it takes place in a fantasy kingdom where people are able to change bodies and they're in some sort of competition for this. And so we have Kala or Kaya something, Tuo Limey. I'm so sorry that I'm butchering that pronunciation. Um, but she is the niece of the king, it looks like. And then there's Anton Makusa, who is an exiled aristocrat. And things go down. I don't really want to know any more than that because just the very idea of it being an Anthony and Cleopatra Cleopatra retelling was what drew me in. I actually haven't even read that play, so I probably should do that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about this and I've wanted a little bit more fantasy on my shelves. I feel like I'm entering a new phase of my reading where I'm really into fantasy again, which is very exciting and I hope I'm able to really embrace that. I haven't quite as much as I would like to, but I would like to. So I'm adding this on there for that. Then I ended up getting The Adventures of Amina El Sarafi by Shannon Checkerboardy. I have heard great things about this. It's a pirate book. The cover is gorgeous. I really, really love it. And like I said, I've heard great things about it. So that's all I really needed to know. I do really want, I have not read the David Bad trilogy, which is by the same author and I really would like to. My mom just read it and really enjoyed it. I actually got her the first book of that for Christmas because she was act asking for a good fantasy book for Christmas and that's what I got her. So I'm already interested in this author because of that, but yeah, when I saw this and I've just kind of been wanting some piratiness in my reading, I don't know why. It's not like I've read a pirate book recently and it's been on the forefront of my mind, but I just decided you know what? A pirate book sounds great. So I'm glad I was able to get this for such a great price through Book of the Month. And I'm very excited to read it whenever I get to it. I kind of want to read, do like a reading vlog focused around books that are set on the water in some way. I have a few that could work for it that are all pretty different in what they're actually about, but they all center around the ocean. And so I really think that could be fun. So this one could be a fun one to read for that. And then the third one I got was The Spectacular by Fiona Davis, which is one I actually had my eye on at the very beginning beginning of the year when I was looking at pre-order options. If I remember correctly, this book follows a woman during the 1920s? 1956. Wow, I was going way too early. In 1956, New York City, the rock she's among the Rockettes, I believe, for the Radio City, the Radio City Rockettes. And there is a bomber running around the city who's been bombing places and Radio City being a prime cultural location. They're concerned that they're going to try for that, I believe, and she ends up 
being involved somehow in tracking down this bomber. I'm not really sure all the details. It just sounded very interesting. So like I said, I thought about it at the beginning of the year. I It was one of the ones I ended up deciding not to do right then. So when I saw this, this is actually in some ways the one that really spurred me on to decide to just go for book of the month because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get this, but I just had really wanted this one. And I was like, dang, I wish I had been in book of the month and then I could have gotten this for a cheaper price um and would have been able to have it so I was like you know what maybe that's just what I need to do I want to have new releases more in my life and start reading them more regularly and quicker because I want to be able to get at the front of some of these hype trains if possible I mean not that book of the month will necessarily make that possible but I think it can help and I don't know not that I like do reviews on my channel or anything I just would like a little bit more of a feeling of spurring on some hype for things that deserve it and also I just think book of the month is a good deal it offers a really good deal so I'm glad I finally caved and did it um and oh, look at this great bookmark I'm in my villain era anyway yes I'm very excited about this as you can tell and I'm excited I've been looking up when they announce the next month so I can be ready to choose my next picks. I just think it will be a fun way to like feed my book collection love in a more in a just different way than I usually do and I just I don't know I'm excited so they're not sponsoring this video I should have made that clear at the beginning I they're not sponsoring me I just have been really had a lot of fun watching other people do it and I've been intrigued by it for a long time and I'm finally in a financial position to feel comfortable doing it as well so anyway yes there's that so like I said, not sure if this ended up in a vlog or if it was just its own video, but if it was its own video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a wonderful reading week. Let me know if you've read any of the books I mentioned in this video. If you've done book of the month, please let me know your feelings about it. I would love to hear those as well as I continue my journey with it and see how it goes. And yeah, that's all from me. So I hope, like I said, you're having a great week. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.